on the rooftop garden of the Environment and Plant Protection Institute of Chinese Academy of Tropical Agricultural Sciences in Haiku, Hainan Province. Tanzanian student Samson Kapa is collecting sisal leaf samples to analyze their nutrient content. Known by his Chinese name, Dai Sheng, Nkapa is a master's degree student on a scholarship studying jointly at the Chinese Academy of Tropical Agricultural Sciences and Huazhong Agricultural University in Wuhan. It's a university scholarship program, but according to my program, was I had to spend one year in my school, then two years in, in Qatar's, I mean, Chinese Academy of Tropical Agriculture Science, because according to my research, as I've told you earlier, I, I have to do the, 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 the experiment on the same crop I was dealing with in my institute back home. The crop in question is sisal. About 60 years ago, Tanzania was the largest producer of sisal, producing over 200,000 tons. Today, that figure has dropped below 15,000 tons annually. It is one of the reasons Mukapa chose to focus his research on sisal farming. Most of the areas in Africa we still use the like the colonial systems like the the low technology system. So I thought like it's a bit advantageous and it's a bit helpful to my country if I focus on this farming system and technology because we can maximize the production. CATES is the only national level research institution in China specializing in tropical agricultural technology development. The Academy has been at the forefront of several scientific breakthroughs and technological innovations on various crops including the rubber tree. His tutor is full of praise for his work ethic and dedication to his studies. My first impression of Dai Sheng is is quite composed and methodical in how he works. He is also very diligent, often staying late to finish his tasks. This is a sample. The cooperation for, between China and Africa area. in agriculture yes. has seen a rise in the number of scholarships Maybe awarded yes. to Africans for studying in Chinese universities. When he returns to his country, he can apply the efficient cultivation methods, the pest and disease control techniques we use here for the sisal industry in Tanzania. Back at the lab, Nkapa is preparing for his experiment. I mean, the leaf like it this. will take several months before the experiment the bears leaf. fruit. So how can you apply this knowledge back home? Back home it will be very useful that when we know how much fertilizer you need to reduce, that amount of fertilizer will be, will be covered by the size of waste. Despite being away from home for so long, Mkapa has embraced life on foreign mm -hmm. land. I've been here for only two years, but I can speak a little Mandarin with them, interacting. I can easily tell, like, today my friend is not okay because I'm very close to them. So it's, it's a bit easier if you are willing. You just open your mind, open your heart, and just embrace the process of living. Everything is, is okay. Robert Nagila, CGTN, Haiku, Henan Province.